Hello there. I'm back for another tutorial. It's taken me a little bit. I've been a bit delayed trying to uh, get the right background and I decided just to do it in my cute little master bedroom. It's kind of a cottagey feel. We live in a farmhouse and old farmhouse, I think originally like 1900. And um, so we just try to fix it up a little bit and I kind of love that style, so this is our little cottagey master bedroom. Anyway, uh, I got a ring light in, so I needed some good lighting to help with uh, some of the visual stuff. And so here we go. Once again, I'm going to use my Milk Cream uh, Mascara Moisturizer. Notice my cute little fun fancy nails. Um, got some of those actually at Christmas from my mother-in-law. I'm always using press-ons because they're better on my nails and cheaper and quicker than when I just need to put something cute on. Again, there goes my train. My train. The train across the street from us. So loud. It seems to always start when I start videoing. Just ignore it. It's part of where I live. Uh, so I was going to do a quick tutorial on the one look that I did, um, I think it was in the red shirt, and I just, it was kind of more of a softer lip and softer eyes, uh, not much eyeliner, mostly just mascara and some eyeshadow, so I was going to show you that look. And I'll probably skip ahead some of this or edit it out just so it's not so long like the last time, but... You know, I typically do my concealer stuff. This might get a little trickier because I don't have a, I'm literally doing my makeup with a cell phone and not an actual mirror. So it might be a little sketchier. Just bear with me. You know, when I do it on my own, I'm way more precise. I feel like it might take more time, but I don't want it to be I don't want them to always take forever for you guys. And I'm still learning where to look. <laughs> and I'm sure most of that stuff you guys aren't worried about. I'm just trying to make it easy to watch and easy to understand and to learn. Okay, so somebody was telling me today that they had bought some of the mascara makeup and they felt it was a bit cakey. I have not experienced that at all. Now, I don't know if it's because I used the moisturizer first. It helps blend it out nicely. I don't know if it's because of these brushes that I'm obsessed with and love and have always used with this makeup, which is the mascara brushes. Um, she did tell me she ordered some mascara brushes and I really think that's gonna help. I really like this one. I also would suggest if you don't have the brushes to use a beauty blender, which would be, um, my little sponge, which I thought I had out, and now I can't find it. Oh, here it is. There it is. One of these guys. Just blend a bit if you have it. Now, I'm as I'm aging, I'm getting some dark circles a bit. I'll go in after and put some more concealer. Maybe even after I do the eyeshadow. I'm learning that when it gets dusty and fallsy, it's better to really do it at the end instead of having to do it twice. Got my hair up today just to make it a little bit easier. And um, so typically I do some of that concealer and then I go back with my mascara. So these are our really cute palettes. I realized I didn't show you a whole lot the other day, but these super cute, they're like magnetized. So nothing falls out, which is really nice. This is a double decker one, bigger one. Got a bunch of these. And then we have smaller ones, which are really nice to just toss in your purse, as you can see, and really do for some more makeup. So like before, I typically would take this dark contour color, see, and you go, I'm going to make it look like it's really fast, but you're literally just going in and contouring around your face, giving it some dimension and shape. I don't know if this is even yet going to be the best lighting for you guys. We'll work 
check it out. See, and again, I'm trying to go faster this time. This is when I take it around my jaw because I don't have a very defined jaw. And then I would blend. And I might even use one of my other brushes to blend some of that in a bit more. Like that. Sometimes I might use my finger if I've gotten it in there dark. Okay, it's going to be turned a bit. Ish. Okay. I'm really going to try to look at you guys over here. But while I'm doing my face, I have to look here. <laughs> That's my tricky issue. I'm trying to get it to be okay. So then I'll go uh, again with some of the blush, which is more of this kind of a mauve color. And I would go back and give myself some blush, which I know I'm gonna have to help myself a little bit with this other mirror because I can't see very well. Again, probably a little bit softer. Sometimes also I was going to tell you and the lady that said she was struggling with the cakiness, sometimes you have to go back and blot to blend. It's not always the brushing in. Sometimes maybe that can be dry. I don't know, but I'm blotting a lot of times. Blending. And then again, I think I did do a little bit of the waterline here with the eyeliner. Just gives a little pop to my eyes. And then, um, okay, so what's funny is the eyeshadow that I used was this cheap little palette, CAI. I don't actually even know what it stands for, but I had gotten it from Target, and it was probably like a dollar on their clearance Christmas sale, but I love Lovebird, so it was super cute. Cute colors, like this one, this one, this one, and I just was putting them on, kind of just on the lid here. I'm going to show you just kind of across my lid, kind of like that. So I'm not, not too far up. Blending it in a bit. It's got a little orange to it. I'm sure I took the other color and blended it too, so it didn't look too orangey. See what I mean? And obviously it's not blended quite yet, so I would take this lighter ashy color, maybe a dusty sparkly something, go along the top, kind of blend that in. kind of blend and again I'm using one of these which I love this blender brush so good I really feel like these blushes have made all the difference for me and I never bought nice brushes till I got the mascara brushes so you can see it's blended a bit more and I think if I want to define it a little bit more make it look like I just had that kind of brownish on the crease you can see when I open my eye it's focused here and here and probably needs to be blended a bit more. Sometimes I do have to just take my finger and blend across. And I'll tweak it as I go, but it kind of gives you the idea of what I was doing. Just a little bit of a kind of brownish on the lids. Um, again, always blending, continually going back and blending. And then using my little e.l.f. eyebrow pencil thing, uh, brush, 
whatever you want to call it. This is what I typically do to fill in my brows. Just a little bit of this. And you can kind of see how that works. Go in. See how that fills that in? Same with here, because my eyebrows are a bit sparse. sparse. And, oh, I think somebody told me I wasn't loud enough in the last video, so I'm sorry if I'm not talking loud enough. I'm doing this in my bedroom, and I don't want to be crazy loud, because my kids are out in the house. Um, so, sorry, turn me up if I'm not loud enough. I'll try to get better at that. Um, again, just kind of filling in these spots which I'll go back and be more particular about. And what I'll do is I'll edit in kind of a finished look where I'm more precise so it doesn't take as long for you to sit through it. And you can kind of see. So let's see, it just fills them in a bit, gives them some shape. And then I would typically just go to the eyelash curler, which I still am using the same one. I don't love it, but I did go ahead and get some different mascara that my daughter and a friend of mine had recommended. And I do really like it. It is just Maybelline Lash Sensational. Loving that. Still using my Plumberry Lip Liner. Actually, I'll do the lip liner first show you the lips. Go up. Some people say, and I don't know if I said this in my last video, but people will say, how do you get your lipstick to stay on so long? Like you've drank something, you ate something, it's still on. I'm like, well, I think it's because I use lip liner and I think it's because I put the lipstick on a few times so it stays. So you just line your lips. And then I go back with that. Okay, this is one I've been asked about a lot, this color. It's Kylie Jenner's Bear. Love it. Just kind of a nude, natural color. Put that on. Blend it in. Like that, and I'll touch that up a bit, but usually I have to get around my corners. And sometimes I'll even take like a cheap Wet n Wild lip gloss. This one is Sun Glaze. This is kind of a matte. It'll dry, kind of matted. I'll put a little gloss on it just to help give it a little bit of texture and moisture on my lips. And then I do the mascara, which I'm going to use another mirror to kind of help me. Because it's a bit hard with just the camera on my phone. Help, this is helping you. I know it seems like maybe you could see me better before. I may have to switch around my lighting again. that and then I'll go back and finish. I'll go back and do the bottom and then I'll show you my finished look in a minute. Okay, I'm back. More with the full look. Mascara done, lips done. What I did realize I forgot was my more of my concealer right under my eyes. I want to show you. Sometimes I'll just use my fingers and do that like this. I don't even have to go all the way over usually, just to get underneath where those bags are a bit. Usually brightens it up. Hide some of those lines a bit. Sometimes I'll come down here a bit. 
And then I would just take a brush and go back and blend like this, some of that in. A little more blush maybe if I've wiped some of it off. So you sometimes just kind of dab, blend. And I forgot to show you my little illuminator over here. A little touch. Maybe some down my nose a bit. That's an itch. <laughs> and then some here. A little shine there, highlight, illumination. And then, yeah, and then I was going to take out my hair and do something with it. Because this is also about silver hair. This is my waking up to it after it dried. Okay, I have to show you. I did get this hair scrunchy thing. How hilarious. But totally matches. And if I ever want to be like curly hair and fancier, look at that. I can just stick it. Stick it like that. Isn't that kind of cute? I mean, if I'm going for a certain look, I could even curl the rest of this. Also, I have done, I think I was able to get it all kind of up. And if you really wanted to be, this feels a little bit more older for me, but the updo with the curls, you can use it for that also. That I got on Amazon. And it's just funny because it totally matched. So, I would do that. I may actually flat iron my hair. Or I might throw it up halfway just like this again. If I'm just around the house, that'd be another option with this hair right now. But anyway, makeup is done. And that was kind of my more natural look, a little more softer. Blend this a bit. Um, I'm pretty much always filling in the brows because I feel like they need it. And but the eyeshadow was a little bit less and not full on drama makeup. So I hope that helped you today. And um, if you have questions, uh, go and just comment below. And I'd love for you to subscribe and like my channel. And you know, I wanted to say something that was meaningful I felt like even just about with a makeup tutorial you know it's just makeup but you know it does make you feel a bit better about yourself each day just to take a little time to do some self-care and freshen up a bit it doesn't have to be much um I know it makes me feel better um crap sorry I don't have lipstick in my teeth and um I just want to encourage you to be grateful today for being alive another day that we're living and I'm trying to choose gratefulness and in moments that are difficult and that I'm struggling I just really want to focus on being thankful that I'm alive thankful that I'm healthy and thankful for my family and the sunshine and the beautiful day so I just want to encourage you to focus on positive things today and no matter what you're beautiful just the way you are have a great day.